Hello dear brothers and sisters, welcome back to a new Bible study. I'm sorry the last weeks I'm not quite strict on uploading, uplo uploading the videos on uh, Tuesday, Thursdays and uh, Saturdays. I just try to upload three videos a week and I have to find time in my schedule with the family and work etc. But really um, thankful for the help of Tom and Lindsay and all the, the, the comments so uh, yeah really thankful for that and let's continue with the Bible study 1 John 2 verse 28 and now dear children continue in him so that when he appears we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming in this verse John again urges his readers to continue in abide remain in Jesus, inspiring them with an illustration that contrasts sharply to how Adam and Eve hid from God after they had eaten from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. We believers will meet him confident and unashamed. This close fellowship with Christ leads to two important results when he returns. First is confidence, both in our salvation and in our relationship with him. And second, we will not need to be embarrassed about our shortfalls and failures. Instead of shame, faithful believers can have confidence and look forward to Christ's coming. In 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 13 to 18, we read about the coming of the Lord and how the righteous, those that abide or continue in him, will meet him in the air to be with our Lord forever. Verse 18 reminds us to encourage each other with this trust or this truth concerning Christ's imminent return. Brothers, this jewel of a verse spurs us onwards, despite our many frustrating shortcomings, to actively seek our Lord through His Word and submit, submit to His transformation of us through the working of the Holy Spirit in our lives. As we study each day, let us strive to obey and apply what we study, encouraging each other with the fact that each day draws us closer to that glorious day when we will meet our Lord face to face. Our time is short, our God-given purpose defined and our, relation, and our salvation secure. As we abide in Christ, let's move out to fulfill His calling on our lives. Whatever that is, small things, big things, well, ask it, ask, it, ask the Lord what he wants uh, to do with our lives for his glory each day is an opportunity so we should be asking our Lord to show us exactly what he wants us to do today and then do it yes definitely do it may God bless you all and hope to see you next time